I want to talk about joking with somebody that is dressed up like you. Do not joke with such an individual. Hello everyone and I welcome you to the gospel with Ishmael. Somebody that dresses up exactly like you. Avoid joking with them. You know, they come in the name of love. They come in the name of friendship. But behind your back, they are envying your life. They want what you have. There was an issue with women in the book of 1 Kings, which was resolved by Sol Solomon. They were both friends, newborn babies. They were prostitutes. But one accidentally killed a child. But noticing that their friend was sleeping and the baby was also there, still alive, and she killed theirs in the middle of the night. She swiped the babies. Let me tell you, you'll have friends who come steal what belongs to you. They see you when you are sowing. But during the night, like the Lord Jesus explained, a thief came to plant weed. They will exchange your blessings. You'll be like, but I spoke positive, positive stuff. How did they enter and steal from my business? How did they enter my house? You don't know that somebody who is close to you knows the ins and outs. Tipped the thieves. I remember years ago when I was still a child. It's just that I did not take it serious because we we're still kids. But then I remember my brother when he left his watch to dry out. It has been like he accidentally poured water into it or dropped it inside water and it could not work. And to fix it, he had to put it under the sun so it can dry up. But one friend of mine, I remember noticing that there was a watch there. I don't know what time it was. How did he come back? But after we left, I think it was the following day or so. But my brother found that there was no longer that watch. Some somehow we suspected and then he ended up finding that that friend who saw that watch came back for it. We don't know what time. Let me tell you, they dress up like you. They act like you. They want what you have. They will do whatever it takes. There are those that even during the night, they ruin your friendships, your relationships. They use your image and people start to suspect you of witchcraft. In fact, with this, somebody, you know what I'm talking about. You have experienced being accused. And you know that deep down, in the bottom of your heart, you are innocent. May the Lord speak and fight for you. In the name of Jesus Christ, anyone that is using your image, May the Lord rebuke and fight for you in Jesus' name. Amen. And of course, you can book an appointment with me. My details are in the comment section below. See you next time.